Okay, this is um, Simon Newson at home in Camberwell, um, and I thought we'd do a little tasting today on um, on how to whirl. So we've got two glasses here. So a glass, we've got a nice bottle of wine, which is from Vino Verde. We'll come to that in a minute. Just going to pour a little bit into each glass. Okay. Now, as I said on my website, if you know uh, a little bit about my business. Um, I like to whirl because that is the essence of my business. I don't like to import a wine from Oregon or from Washington or from New South Wales or from Victoria or wherever it might be or from Napa Vino Verde, soon from Italy, um, unless, unless I feel the power of the whirl coming on when I sniff it. Okay, we've got two glasses of wine. What I'm trying to emphasize today is the importance of the glass, not only in the size of it and also how it's shaped um, and in the quality of the glass, and by that I mean smelling it, um, but also in the whirl. Now, for example, this lovely pomegranate um, colored rosé from Casa Garcia in Paredes, just, um, just east of Porto, is um is wonderful. Um, I know it's late summer now, but it's still well, it's autumn now, but it's um it's still you know it's, it's still a great glass of wine. But what I'm trying to emphasise here is is this: if you want to whirl this, no problem. You know it, it's easy. You can whirl as much as you want. Look, great, lovely strawberries, fresh fruit coming through. It really is strawberries, gorgeous kind of strawberry cheese, strawberry cheesecake, strawberry opal fruits. However. Now I'm going to watch my top here. We did it with this one. Can you see that? It's kind of, you can do it just, but a bit's gone over there already. It's a bit, it's a bit dodgy. It's kind of like, it's, you know, it's reaching the upper bars of the glass. Which is good, but if you've got a nice white shirt on, it's no good. And certainly that glass is a lot better than most. However, with this glass, the power of the world comes through. No problemo. No spillage, nothing. So the first thing we need to do before we buy some great wine is buy a good glass. Now this is a Riddell sommelier glass, which is very, very expensive. I don't say you have to buy that, but buy a good glass. Preferably be Riddell, but it doesn't have to be Riddell. But buy a good glass. Go to John Lewis, go to Peter Jones, wherever you might be, have a chat, and buy a nice glass. It's important. Okay, coming on to the wine very quickly, because we must uh, emphasize that. Casal Garcia Rosé, tasted this wine in San Francisco when I was stuck out there in the volcano back in April 2010, six months ago. Loved it, thought it was amazing. Took it across to my friends in Berkeley that evening. They loved it too. I import it now from Vino Verde, the, most, the largest uh, wine region that is in Portugal, which borders basically Spain in the north, Sorry, Spain in the west, sorry, Spain in the east, and uh, the Pyrenees in the north, and obviously it goes all the way as far as the Atlantic Ocean to Porto. It's 150 miles across. This wine is lovely. Like I said, it's pure strawberry juice in the glass. If you want to buy some, it's £7 a bottle, www.whirlywine.co.uk, or give me a call. My number, if you want it now, it's 07821968111. Speak to you soon. Bye.